Alright guys, welcome to the new fan server. You guys have waited, you guys have begged, and you guys have bitched at me because you don't want a new fan server, but it's here anyway and there's nothing you can do about it. Anyway, when you spawn in on the server, you will spawn on this amethyst block facing the rules board. It would be in your best interest to read the rules on the board because there are no warnings and there are no second chances on here. Once you do something that is against the rules, you are banned. You are not jailed, you are not temp banned, you are banned. And if I find out your username on YouTube, you are banned from there as well. Anyway, this is the spawn area. I would like to point out that all of this was done by hand. It was creative mode, but it was done by hand. The bucket or the server did not update to bucket until a few days ago. And the plugin, like World Edit and Voxel Sniper, were only used for touch-up work. All of this that you see here was done completely by hand. I'd just like to thank everybody who helped on the server. Akira, Vulture, Jaime, Pika. Uh, got it. Not Typo, because Typo didn't help. Everybody who worked on the server, if I'm forgetting your name. Orange. All the people that have beacons down there, thank you for your help on this server. I had actually very little input on building this because... I want you guys to see what it is. But anyway, you will spawn on that amethyst block down there. Ahead of you is the rules. If we go to the rules and go around the rules board, we will see the new spawn jail. This is the jail. There is a little greeting center here. You can go ahead and push the button to greet the players. Behind the jail is portals to the nether. We'll go there in a couple minutes. Um, I would like to say... That for the, oh, and also uh, the little surprise that you guys were waiting for, the first week that this server is active, oh, wait, hold on, I just noticed something. The first week that this server is active, all old DAT files from the old fan server will be saved. That means you will keep your inventory and your end chest for one week. After one week, I will delete all player dat files and you will start over. So, after that one week period, you might want to put the stuff you want in uh, a different chest for safekeeping. Also, for the first week, whenever you log into the server, you will spawn on that amethyst block. Unless you set your home in a bed like this. We can do, put a bed down, you right click on it. Click the bed one more time in the next five seconds to permanently change your home to this location. There. That is our bed spawn. Now, even if the bed breaks and you kill yourself, you will spawn here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I changed the uh, default. So, so if you die, you will spawn here. Everything you do, you will spawn at that block for one week. After that changes, actually, I might change it so you spawn at your bed if you die. Actually, you know what I'm going to do. I just need to change the uh, player file or the uh, config file in that plugin. You will always spawn on that block for one week. After that one week period, after all player files get reset, it will go back to the old spawning where you will spawn in when you logged out and uh, and uh, you will go to your bed when you die. But that is just for making sure that nobody spawns in their old logout location on the old server. What? Stop fishing for me. Uh, da, 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 da. Anything else? Oh, yeah. Um... Uh, as I said before, pretty much all the time, ban list will be carried over. I will never, ever, ever reset the ban list, so don't bother asking. Also, um, just getting to the different features, that's the jail. Behind the rules board over here, we have doo -doo 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 -doo, a conveniently placed end portal. And the reason we have a conveniently placed end portal there is because if we go back here, I think it's back here. Yeah, yes, here it is. Do, 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 do. We have the Ender Shrine. That's right. There is a shrine on the server for Endermans. It's, if it was just load up, the problem with Bucket with the uh, chunk loading right now. But this is, do, 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 do. this is the Ender Shrine. Something different about this server than the regular vanilla servers. The Ender Dragon will be reset once a week. That means once a week you have a chance to kill the Ender Dragon and collect the Ender Dragon Egg. Whenever the Ender Dragon is killed, the Ender Dragon Egg will be placed on this area. We're going to build some things for it. And all members who took part in killing that Ender Dragon will have their name placed underneath the egg. So there is a chance for battle once a week with the Ender Dragon. 
it will be reset every three months. So you will have your name up here for three months of guild at first, and then it will just reset after that. So there will be Ender Dragon battles if you want to join once a week. They will not be announced. You'll just have to check the uh, end to see if there's a dragon there, and if there is, you can go ahead and kill it. Uh, over here we have the spawn village. This is just kind of where uh, the whitelisted members and mods have built different areas. I did not build anything here, as you can tell, because it's actually good. Uh, so yeah, this is just where people have built stuff and things. Uh, and there's a building. We don't know what to do with it yet. But I think that is actually it for the spawn area around here. Also, uh, the spawn is protected in a two... Sorry, 400 block diameter cube. So 200 blocks that way. 200 blocks that way. 200 blocks that way. And 200 blocks that way. That means you cannot build. You cannot sleep. You cannot break any blocks. And you cannot... Uh, and no mobs will spawn in here. So there is no building within 200 blocks of the spawn. That means go out and find something. But remember, in 1.7, it is the terrain update, which will introduce new biomes and new terrain generation. So don't go too far out, because once you 1.7 comes out, you can go ahead and uh, then go far out and uh, explore what you want. So go a couple, maybe like up to six, 7,000 blocks out if you want to. Build a house, get settled down. Once 1.7 comes out, just go go crazy just explore everywhere look at the new biomes when that comes out so don't go too far out for 1.6 just get settled down uh, that is pretty much all there is to do in the spawn area so we have the jail the uh, nether portal end portal over there and uh, shrine over there the village over there now if we go through the nether portal over here uh, on the old fan server we had uh, a hub but it was too small and not very planned out and not everybody got a space in the hub. So, we took care of that with this new hub. This new hub, this is the main level. This is where everybody will come in. That is the rainbow branch. That is the gold branch. The, there are two branches up here. I think each branch has 50 uh, places for uh, tunnels. You can't build anywhere in here. This is all protected. The only place you can build is at the start of the tunnels, which is the uh, um, 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 soul sand down there. If we go downstairs, actually, no, let's go upstairs first. There's upstairs. There it is. If we go upstairs, this is kind of like a little uh, chill out area. Got, got an enchanting table over there, help desk. Nobody's ever going to be manning that, I'm guessing. That's really all there is upstairs. If we go downstairs now, do, 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 do. Then, we come to two more branches. That is the clay branch. That is the coal branch. I don't know why they chose these names, but they did. Those are the four branches. I think it's 200 spots for tracks total. Should be plenty for all the active players. And then over on this side, we have minecart elevators, which are basically tracks going up and down to the bottom of the world marketplace. That marketplace does not exist because it is up to you guys to build it. It will go down. Cut off, and there will be a big wall in Netherrack, and that is where you guys are going to build your marketplace, all you lovely fans. Um, that is pretty much it for the Nether Hub, so... Uh, yeah. Also, uh, griefing will probably be a thing of the past because we now have the Core Protect 2 plugin, which means it's basically a more comprehensive Big Brother. We can do chunk rollbacks, we can do player rollbacks, it will even save... Uh, data of stuff that was in chest. It's all written to a database on my computer. Every single block, every single action by every single player is logged. So if something is broken, something is griefed, that player will be banned, and everything that they touched will be rolled back. So don't have to worry about that anymore. Any other things that I should go over? A 200 by 200 in every direction for protection. Dat files, I want to stress this, will only be saved for one week from the old server. After that, everything will be deleted. You will all spawn back here, and then uh, uh, normal spawning will continue after that, which means when you log out, you will go to you will log back in at the place you logged out instead of logging in back here. This is just to make sure everybody comes to this point when they log in so they can read the rules. After that, we should be good. Um... Well, after they log in and come to this point with their old dat file. Once we delete all the old dat files, then they will, everybody will spawn on this point, come to the rules, and you go out, and then it will go back to normal. Uh, I will probably keep that uh, locking home thing on beds because it's better to do that than, you know, accidentally right click on a bed. It's like, oh shit, I need to go back to my bed now. This one is confirm whether you want it to be your home. 
Um, anything else that I'm missing? No, nope. all the uh, IPs and stuff will be in the description as usual. Uh, if I do miss anything, uh, I will put that in the description as well. I'm just kind of doing this to make sure we get the quick oversight. Again, thank you to everybody who helped build this and helped this uh, come true because this is absolutely insane. I was just playing like a little spawn area and Akira and the crew just went crazy with it. So thank you again, everybody. That's going to do it for this information episode. Uh, I think that is pretty much it. Uh, yep. Uh, all commands are the same as the last server, which means you have none except for help to tell you that you have no commands. Uh, it's vanilla legit. Um, no spawning, no nothing. No fanboying. If I come on, don't fanboy because I do want to come on here because we do have some cool stuff. Anyway, that's going to do it. Any questions, leave them in the uh, comment section below and I or one of the moderators will be happy and or disgusted to help you depending on how stupid the question is. So, welcome to the new fan server, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, the crew did spend a long time on it, so make it worth their while. Uh, uh, make sure you say thank you to the guys. But uh, farewell, and uh, I'll see you guys on.